ordinary adventures, huh? I've been watching you. Don't you worry, I've been standing right here and I've been watching you, ordinary adventures. Why are you filming me? That was, Roz was talking. Yeah! Hello everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Disney California Adventure for the Touch of Disney event. Yay! <laughs> Disney has opened up the whole park, well everything but the rides. But don't worry, while there is no rides, there's been tons and tons and tons of food. Almost too much food, honestly. Yeah, there's food, <laughs> there's characters, there's photo ops. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? Ticket to Touch of Disney includes parking in the Mickey and Friends parking garage. And I gotta admit, I didn't expect to have an emotional response to being in Mickey and Friends again, but I don't know, 2021 for ya. Now we are making our way to the event and we are taking the tram route, except there are no trams running currently. There's a walking route and it is lined with banners and signs, benches, trash cans, hand sanitizers getting me excited. <laughs> they have some Autopia cars set up here, and I love that, but they, they even took the time to put Touch of Disney decals right on, right on them. That's kind of hilarious. Why am I so excited to be in this car right now? <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, three. I want up close. Ready? One, two, three. What time is it? Time to eat. <laughs> I used to have the Mickey Mouse watch face on my, my watch. When someone asked me what time it is, I'd be like, it's half past Mickey's butt. <laughs> you never said that. I wanted to say it. Okay. And I didn't use the word butt. He's a different <laughs> one. You made it! <laughs> Come on, no, no, no. let's go! A touch of Disney costs $75, and what that includes is parking, it includes obviously your ticket into California Adventure, a $25 dining card, and it even includes PhotoPass photographer. Apparently there's gonna be photo ops all throughout, and you get to get your pictures for free. And when you first walk in, they have these pamphlets laid out, which has a map to all the food, which I think is the most like important thing in my opinion. But I love it, it's so colorful, and it's really getting me in the mood here. <laughs> I feel like I'm not having that emotional response that I expected, but that's because Buena Vista Street has been open here for the last few months. But I think I'm gonna have that once we get over towards the fun wheel. But right now, first we're gonna go to Smoke Jumpers Grill because they have a few food items that we hear are very popular and we wanna get them out of the way first. So from Smoke Jumpers is my number one anticipated item from this food festival. This is the half Monte Cristo sandwich. This is sliced turkey, ham, Swiss, fried in a light battered, dusted with powdered sugar, and served with a berry puree. Even for a half serving of the Monte Cristo that normally happens at Blue Bayou, it's still freaking huge. Yeah, it's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to share this with you, I think. I know. I forgot that this came with berry puree until I read that. I think it might be my favorite food item in Disneyland proper. I'm not sure. Maybe the Ronto Wrap, I don't know. Anyways, okay, here it goes. <laughs> I've missed this. It doesn't even taste like a sandwich. It's just like a fried piece of happiness. It tastes exactly like what I remember. This music is like really doing it for me. I know. This music <laughs> loop that they have running for A Touch of Disney is incredible. They have some really, what do they, the kids say? The, the slapping tunes? <laughs> yep. yep that's what, what the kids say. <laughs> the only thing that's missing with this is we're not in the atmosphere of the Blue Bayou, the New Orleans, the water. They also have like this like newscast that comes in between songs like an old-timey newscast. I love it. Is that food porn right there? Yeah. 
five out of five, Peter. Born in <laughs> I'm a so surprise to nobody. Also, to wash it down, I did get myself a frozen Jack and Coke. And they have this in smoke jumpers. I've never had it. Some might say that I'm a connoisseur of Jack and Coke. It's good. It's a frozen Jack and Coke. Can't go wrong. Five and five, Peter. Winner Adventure Star. Winner Adventure Star. <laughs> I had to get the s'mores shake. On the menu, it actually doesn't even say what is in this, but if I had to guess, it looks like there's some toasted marshmallows on top, a graham cracker, a graham cracker rim, and then this must be like a chocolatey, like marshmallow graham cracker shake. I like how I was using, I was gifted this, a reusable straw, and I'm using it like as a pointer now, so it's fun. <laughs> this looks, so freaking good. Like, it looks even better than I thought it was gonna look. It's thick. Wow. I thought. <laughs> no. God. Oh my. Whoa. You could really taste like the marshmallow. It is so good. It is so chocolatey, but I would say the dominant flavor is a marshmallow, surprisingly. I was not expecting that. This is exactly what you think it tastes like. It tastes like a s'more that's been melted down, put in a blender, and turned into a milkshake. And to no surprise of anyone, it gets a five out of five Kitras. Absolutely delicious. And just like your shake, a new item that can also be found at Smoke Jumpers is the brisket mac and cheese. This has creamy mac and cheese, smoked barbecue brisket, pickled red onions, and a crispy fried shallots on top. And you know, I'm a connoisseur of <laughs> mac and cheese. This whole video. Hey, <laughs> this whole but you video. see me every time I know it's trying every single mac and cheese. You might even say I'm a connoisseur of brisket mac and cheese because I've had it at Knott's. Look at how amazing this looks. Okay, Smoke Jumpers. <laughs> I feel like Smoke Jumpers is always like a place in DCA we don't usually go to because they usually have like the the boring burger and fries or whatever. This brisket is tender. The barbecue sauce is sweet. The mac and cheese is cheesy. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say it's exceptional. It's not. Is it as good as the Knott's brisket mac and cheese? No, but it's also not as big as the Knott's brisket mac and cheese but this is very very good this is a very good addition to this park and hopefully they, it sticks around after this festival because this is something i would get on a regular basis four to five peters also the crunch from those uh it's like a bee or something <laughs> sorry it's distracting me it might just be a fly sorry hey we are in the uh in the wilderness, woods, right? Yeah. Wilderness, yeah. <laughs> Grizzly Peak. I think the thing that I'm most excited for is now that the park is completely open, we can finally go visit my favorite thing in Disney California Adventure, which is my favorite cat. His name is Fernando or Francisco. Oh my god. Oh my god, god he forgot his name. Why did I just say Fernando? Oh my god. Fake fan. His name is Francisco. He's an angel and hopefully he's over here. I'm like hoping. Fran Francisco? I don't see him. Normally he likes to hang out like right here. I think actually one of our like really early vlogs, you and Nate came here and you did a vlog all about like the Disneyland cats. And so, I mean, maybe check out that video because I don't see him here. I wonder where he is. He's had the whole place to himself for an entire year. He's not used to like this much activity, I'm guessing. What if there was no food and you left and found a new home? Oh, I don't want to believe that. Dang, I was really excited to see him. So we may have not found Francisco, but we did find a infamous Disney duck. And somehow he's renting a room in the Grand Californian a month before it reopened. He noticed me. <laughs> no! Oh, I missed you! Oh! Oh, so cute! <laughs> I feel like you can't even like hear it. The soundtrack is so good. I was just thinking it's so warm today. I wish this ride was open and that we could go on it, but it's completely drained. Dang it. 
Oh, this is interesting. They have construction on the Little Mermaid. Did not expect that. <laughs> and then there's like some like photo ops. Is that yeah. from the Pixar Play Parade? It is. I think that's one of the floats from the Pixar Play Parade. That's, that's awesome. Do you see this photo op over here? They have a Little Mermaid photo op too. So I'm get to live out my aerial fantasy. I look like a mermaid. If only I had a dingle hopper to brush my hair. I think it finally hit me that we're back here. Just seeing this whole area because this has been closed this whole time. And it's funny because like when we used to come to the parks, we would very rarely go on the rides. Like we would normally just come to eat anyway. Yeah. So it feels just like a normal day back at Disney California Adventure. How happy are you to be here? I'm so happy. I wish I would stay this empty all the time. There's like so many great like spots that you can take photos with like nobody around. <laughs> yeah, no, there's like nobody here. It's like really fairly empty. They put like tables all out here but it's, for the most part. There's definitely a lot of space, so if you're concerned about that, at least as of right now, it's, it's pretty manageable. But, yeah, this is awesome. If you come right underneath the jumping jellyfish, you can meet some of the famous Disney characters. I feel like they're kind of hidden over here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find them. Yeah. Hi, Pluto! Hi! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Pluto's yeah. just happy to be out of his cage. <laughs> he is. He's finally been set free. Oh, there's Daisy over there too. Do you see Daisy? We got Daisy and Pluto. Hello, Daisy! Oh, so good to see you! <laughs> we missed you so much. They're having the best time up there. It's, it's so sad, like, how happy I am to see them. Is, is that sad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's something strangely emotional. It is. Yeah. They make even grown women cry. <laughs> we were lucky to get a reservation at Lamplight Lounge, which is one of our favorite restaurants in all of Disneyland Resort. So we're headed over there now because Kitra needs her lobster nachos. We just sat down and they handed us this awesome paper menu. It has that same beautiful art that we know and love here. You open it on up, it has a wide variety of drinks. I'm honestly kind of shocked at how many different drink options there are. And then on the back, just a few options for food, but I gotta say the selection is pretty good. Yeah, it's or, all their favorites. It's all like the classics. And I did notice they're not seating anybody downstairs. So this really kind of reminds me of like back when this was the Cove Bar. And I used to just come here every single time that I came to DCA, I would come here and get a drink and the lobster nachos. So I might start crying once, <laughs> once the, the nachos come out. <laughs> once it hits your lips, man, I'm telling you, it's indescribable. Lamplight Lounge is one of our favorite restaurants here at Disneyland Resort and it is based on Pixar and all the artists at Pixar. What I love is even the coasters that they give you on your table is based on the concept art for some of the various Pixar movies. And did you notice this? It looks like one of the coasters that actually is the QR code. I love that. <laughs> it's so fun. Like, they didn't have to do this, but they did. One of the reasons why I love this restaurant so much is they have a secret drink menu. This is actually something that started back when this place used to be the Cove Bar. I ordered one of those secret drinks. So like, if you're looking for this, it's not gonna be on the normal Lamplight menu. This is called the Zombie. This is my absolute favorite drink in all of Disney. And basically what it is, is it's a, a bunch of different rums with a 151 rum floater on top mixed with pineapple juice, blue curaco, and I think she said orange juice. Basically, it's a really strong rum drink, like really strong. Like you could have one of these and be done, but it's also very, very delicious. And then they put these raspberries right on top that make it kind of look like zombie brains, right? Oh, is that why it's called zombie? Yeah, like brains. I don't know, like green zombies are like green and then the brains. I can't even tell you the last time I had one of these. <laughs> I was so, so excited. It finally hit me. Like, we're back. Get to have my zombie again. 
Ooh, yes, definitely strong. You, you want to give it a nice mix here. Kind of makes it turn into like a muddy color. It's not as pretty anymore. That's exactly how I remember it. Am I gonna start crying? <laughs> this gets the ordinary adventure star. But like I said before, this is not for like the week. I also usually order off the secret menu. I usually get the fun wheel, which is this very colorful drink. But I thought since we're here for this event, why not get something that's actually on the menu? And I got the Scream Canister, which is themed after the Scream Canisters from Monsters, Inc. And this has Bacardi, rum, cream of coconut, pineapple, orange juice, with a mist of bitters. And it looks, it looks cool. It it's does. a yellow color. It has a garnish of a lime and a pineapple. And what is that? Is that a... I think that's a cherry. Maybe a cherry. I don't think I've ever had this one, actually. It's very tropical, very fruity. If you're into that kind of drink, this is the one to get. Five out of five Peters. I'm already feeling like I'm back at home. The only thing that's missing is that the uh, credit coaster, like that, <laughs> yeah, uh, that the, countdown. It's like weirdly quiet over yeah, it's here. Like so weirdly quiet over here. Like, wait, they should just be running it. You know yeah. what you should do? You should scream into the scream canister. Three, two, one. No, that was for the so old how, how, how does it go? How did the new one go? I, I don't know. It's been so long that I don't oh even God, remember. I don't even remember. <laughs> nope. Kitra's already, already, I, already tipsy. I honestly am feeling it after like two sips. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Cheers. But now it's time for the main event, people. Finally get to have these lobster nachos after so long. And these are kind of like a, a cult classic. Like, they're one of those like famous Disneyland foods that people always talk about. And I can tell you that they live up to the hype. It comes with warm lobster with black beans, aged cheddar, Oaxaca cheese sauce, pico de gallo, and chipotle crema. They smell so good. They smell so lobstery and delicious. They're not playing around with the lobster on here. Oh, God. Where do I even like, I don't even know. I'm so overwhelmed right now, I don't even know like what chip to get. Okay, we're gonna get this little chip over here. Get a nice little scoop of the lobster. Even the chips on these, like they're like house-made chips. They're freaking delicious. <laughs> The combination of the cheese and that chipotle crema mixed with the lobster, like you wouldn't think that that would all blend so well together, but it's just so, so good. These taste exactly how I remember them. And I'm excited, I'm gonna eat this whole plate. Like originally I was like, you know, I'm just gonna have like bites of things because we're gonna be trying so much food today, but I'm, I'm eating this whole plate and I'm not even sorry about it. Five out of five Kitra's Ordinary Adventure Star. Uh, like, I don't know why I'm even rating this, honestly. But if this is something that you have never tried and you are lucky enough to get a reservation here at Lamplight, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Even if you don't like lobster. Like, Peter even likes these and he doesn't even like seafood. So, they're that good, people. My favorite dish here at the Lamplight Lounge is the potato skins. These are crispy Yukon gold potatoes with brown butter, caper yogurt, smoked paprika aioli and a manchego cheese. And usually when you get potato skins, they are like a potato cut into like a third with some cheese and some, some bacon on top of it. But this looks so much different than any potato skin I've ever seen. If you came here before times and you came here before dinner, like they started doing this brunch and the brunch here is like amazing. It's so good. But you can't get these potato skins. So I'm so happy I can get these potato skins for lunch again. Oh, wait, one of our first videos we did of the the brunch here. Yeah. You want to see that? We'll put the video Check right it out. above. <laughs> These are good. Are they as good as you remember? They're different than I remember it really? being. They almost seem like they were like made differently. I'm not complaining. They're crispy on the outside, nice and buttery soft on the inside. We're an adventure star? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? Did you even rate your drink? 
Probably. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Who cares anymore? Yeah. Life is good, my friend. Imagine what life is going to be like when the park is actually open with rides. And that's just coming up, like in a month or so. I decided to get a second drink, and I got the Fun Wheel. This is also on the secret menu. So this drink doesn't have an official ingredients list, but I think it's kind of like a Long Island. It has vodka, gin, rum, sweet and sour, and blue curacao, and it's topped off with some Sprite. This is named after the famous ride over in, I guess it's now Pixar Pier, and it's not Mickey's Fun Wheel anymore, it's now uh, Pixar Pal Around, but whatever, same difference. It is so pretty, right? Yeah. I'm gonna mix these colors together because you need the drink all mixed up. It really tastes sour, is what it tastes like. So if you are a fan of like sour, like tear jerkers or like Sour Patch Kids, this is the drink for you. Every time I go to the movie theater, or when I used to go to the movie theater, when there were movie theaters, I would get Sour Patch Kids. So this is the, this is the drink for me. Five out of five Peters, Ordinary Adventure Star. <laughs> get the Mickey's Fun Wheel or the Pixar Pal Round. Yeah, this is also a secret menu item, yeah. so you'll feel cool when you order it. Yeah, right? everybody will be like, how did you know about that drink? And you'll be like, <laughs> I don't know. I found it out from these, these two awesome people on YouTube. <laughs> and then they will be like, uh, was it Magic Journeys? And they're like, you'll be like, no. Was it blah, blah, blah? No, blah, blah. And you'll just keep on going down the list. And then like, you'll be all those ordinary adventures. And they're like, oh, we've never heard of that. We're going to have to subscribe. <laughs> oh, there we go. So subscribe. Yeah, hit subscribe below. Oh, my God. <laughs> the other great thing about the Lamplight Lounge is you get one hell of a view. No matter where you're sitting. Although that said, they did move some seating onto the boardwalk over here. So I'm not sure if that has one hell of a view. And another weird thing is not all the stores here are open. So if you want to go to Knickknacks, which is like the Pixar store, it's not going to be open until the park opens. No Knickknacks for you. That's you, and this is me. We're a match made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is Gizmo, if I'm going to be real honest. <laughs> The other baffling decision by Disney is why did they not open the Cookie Num Num stand? Everybody wants their Cookie Nums Num. Disney, what is going on? Why are there no Cookie Num Nums? This all right here is waiting for Disneyland to reopen. Who wants to go on the rides? Wanted to put my hand on the ball. I'm surprised they have this running. I thought they turned it off for the pandemic. <laughs> Help me out, Dan. Dan. <laughs> yes, I need the muscles here. Oh my gosh, it's too slippery. All right, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> was it as much fun as you thought it was? Yes, be? it was. <laughs> Thank you for asking. We got it going good. Huh? Because the hand sanitizer. Don't worry, I got hand sanitizer. I think I'm doing this from the wrong angle. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's not water squirting there. Maybe that's hand sanitizer. Oh yeah, that's actually a good idea. Disney, if you're listening, just put a full hand sanitizer. <laughs> Teamwork. Okay, now stuff. <laughs> Don't try that at all. That is a difficult part. <laughs> You did it! You did it! You did it! Oh my gosh! Wow. Alright, get it going oh, again. No, the other way. The other way. <laughs> While we're here, we gotta take advantage of some of the photo pass opportunities, so I'm gonna be Buzz Lightyear over here. Peter doesn't wanna do it, so I'll just do it by myself, I guess. <laughs> Only at this event can you eat at a table underneath the Pixar Pal around. It's never gonna happen again. Is this seat available? Seats take. So we couldn't leave Pixar Pier without getting a dessert at the adorable Snowman's Frosted Treats. We ended up getting the lemon and pineapple Dole Whip Swirl. 
I think normally they have like a chocolate swirl with pineapple, lemon, something, whatever. Anyways, lemon is new. It's basically what I'm saying. Lemon is new, and that's what we're trying here today because it's new and it's it's plant based too. Like all the Dole Whips here at Disneyland Resorts. That's so weird. Who knew that lemon and pineapple went together? It's hard to like say what this is because it's it's just that citrusy lemon mixed with the sweet pineapple. I honestly didn't think that this was gonna work. I honestly think that I thought that this was gonna be a dud. But this is another winner from Disney. Five out of five Peters. Ordinary Adventure Star. Yeah. Dan, what do you think? It's it, well, what do you think? I think it was amazing. I already finished it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good it didn't last even one minute. Very good. Very refreshing. So refreshing. So tart, so sweet. I hope they keep this. It's not too sweet. Not too sweet. It's not too much, it's just the right amount. It's, it's perfect. It, it's not quite, it, it's not too perfect. It's just perfect enough. I agree. Right next to the emotional whirlwind, you can actually say hi to sadness. She's also, she's also physical distancing like all the rest of us. You know what I think sadness needs? I think she just needs a churro and then she will feel better. Or she needs some of those lobster nachos or that, that dole whip swirl thing. And she'd be trying to frown upside down, sadness. She'd be she'd be happy sadness. She'd be joyful. You know what I mean? You have something in your eye? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh! Hi sadness! Thank you for, for not leaving. We're so happy that we can say hi to you. We missed you so much! You know what I think would make you feel better? I think, do you want a churro? Or like a turkey leg? Popcorn? Or a michelada, maybe? Yeah. Okay, bye. No. Okay. I tried. She's not having it. <laughs> Hey, they may have taken away our annual passes, but we still get a photo op and a pin. A cheap pin and a photo op, it's okay. It's totally fine. Here is the pin. I think this magnet's actually pretty cool. That's awesome. They could take away my pass, but they could never take away my freedom. Uh, I thought that was gonna be funnier than it was. But this is cool. We still haven't seen Mickey Mouse, but we did get to see Minnie for a quick second as she was coming out of, out of the elevator. Right by where they have that legacy pass holder photo op, you could come over here and meet Miguel from Coco. And this is actually cool because it's not just like a costume character, it's a, a puppeteer. And yeah, it, it's it, an awesome puppet. It's an too. awesome puppet. He looks. Looks like I'm right there in the movie. And I gotta say, Coco, every time I watch that movie, I cry. So seeing him almost makes me wanna cry, but I didn't, so you'd be proud of me. What is going on? There's like a swarm of flies. Right over your head. They're literally following, They're following you. you. They're not following me. They're following Dan. <laughs> They're following, They're following Dan, why are they following you? Attack. They really are following you. It's like that cloud. Charlie Brown. They're following Dan. They're <laughs> everywhere you go. Look. Maybe. I don't know if you really like Yeah, I know. It's hard to get it on camera. Alright, you escaped from the run, make a run for it! We did. So he's taking video. This could be a thumbnail, it could not be. Yeah, do crazy stuff. I'm still recording. All right, now that I got that, let me try another angle. <laughs> That's good. Is it good? I like it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I think try the light. Try everything. The light is better here. You got Mickey in the background? Oh, yeah. Never losing the boss. I like it. Okay, cool. I need bugs on here or something. <laughs> I, was like, I think of all the character opportunities here at Touch of Disney, the best one is Goofy and Max. They're fishing outside of the Pacific Wharf, and 
I am here for it. Goofy's outfit is awesome. It looks like he's on vacation. Looks like he's in Hawaii or something. I don't know what he's trying to fish for though, because obviously it's not working. <laughs> Yes! I love you guys! Hello! <laughs> See Max? Yes. Don't forget to check out Big Box Sweet Stuff. You'll find it on He's doing five out of five. Yes! Time for more musical melodies to stroll by. Yes! Yes! Five out of five! <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> Who would have thought that Max and Goofy watch Ordinary Adventures? You know what? I heard that Max and Goofy are connoisseurs of Ordinary Adventures. That's what I heard. <laughs> I give that photo off, that character interaction. They should have that all year long. Adventure Ordinary Adventure 5, 5, 5 out of 5 Peters, for sure. <laughs> We're finally making our way back into Cars Land. This is one of my favorite areas in all of DCA. It is kind of strange though that they're normally they play like music from like the 60s, the 50s and 60s. And it is kind of strange that like they're not playing that kind of music. It's just like pop music, but it's okay. I'll forgive it. <laughs> I'm just so excited to be back. Get it? I was acting like we're, I was on the ride. In this ride, they like troll you around and stuff. I love that not only do they have the Autopia cars, but they have these cars too. The real reason why we came back to this little corner of Cars Land is we wanted to see the progress on Avengers Campus and we can see, oh my God, I can see the Quinjet. Wow. Wow. I didn't realize that we were going to be able to see like this much of it. We could see the whole jet. I can't wait for Avengers Campus to open up. Let me in there. Let me eat the supersized food at Tim's Test Kitchen. Let me ride the Spider-Man ride. I I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Bugs Land. Gone too soon, but never forgotten. Never forget Bugs Land, everyone. Pour one out for Bugs Land if you're watching this at home. Wait, Dan, Dan it's, it, it's happening again? Yeah. Where are they? My babies are falling. Oh my god. I can't even see it. Wait, okay. Dan, what is going on? Okay, Dan, these flies have been following Dan. Everybody look, 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 they dance. They dance. I can see it in my camera, and they like move around when he moves. <laughs> Do they want your turkey leg or? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the turkey leg because he. <laughs> okay, give me the turkey leg. Dan bought a turkey leg. Nope. Okay, give me the turkey leg. This is your hat. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> They're still there, Dan. They're still there. You can't. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but. <laughs> maybe I'm the chosen one. Yeah, you're the chosen one. They're still there. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I just keep it behind the coach. Behind the coach? Oh yeah. I just topped off at Flo's V8 Cafe. Nice. I am ready to race. Oh yeah. Hey everybody. Thanks for visiting my favorite place, Radiator Springs. Are you sharing? Yes, so, um, if he's sure. lucky. <laughs> okay, well, be nice yes. and you'll get it. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. What did I do? What is this? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. So I decided to go to Ghirardelli and try one of their brand new sundaes. This is called the Gold Rush Caramel Sundae. It has vanilla ice cream, sea salt, diced almonds, caramel sauce, whipped cream, topped with a Ghirardelli white chocolate caramel square. Do you see that amount of freaking <laughs> caramel in here? This looks like my dream Sunday. I know, we're here with a couple friends and I hate that like I can't share it with everybody because like in normal times, like we'd all grab a spoon and just be like going to town on it. But you know. Do you think we're gonna get back to that kind of normal or do you think like now we're all germaphobes? I don't know, honestly. I, don't, I think it's gonna be a really long time. But I would love to share this, but you know, unfortunately, I just gotta eat it all myself. <laughs> Look at all of the caramel. Wow. 
Wow. It's funny because when you think of Ghirardelli, you think of chocolate. I feel like that's what they're most known for, right? Like, you don't think of vanilla and caramel, but... I like their caramel, like, sauce. I put them in my ice cream. Yeah, it's really good. But you already know that this... And everything from Ghirardelli gets a 5 out of 5. Gets the Ordinary Adventure Star. We're being very generous today. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, this is very, very good. Very, very sweet. Very, very indulgent. But I'm happy. (laughs) Spilling everywhere. Disney California Adventure looks so amazing at night and I miss I miss just hanging out here with friends eating food feeling like the world is normal at this event they also have some food booths open like they do in food and wine and at the golden dreams booth they have some sweet and spicy chicken wings and these are normally served at Trader Sam's enchanted tiki bar and they are some of our favorites. This is like one of the items that I've missed the most. It's exactly what I remember it being. Sweet. It's more sweet than spicy. There really isn't much spice. If you've never been to Trader Sam's, it's an enchanted tiki bar. And this is like perfect, like Polynesian bar food. Five out of five, Peters. <laughs> Ordinary adventure Shocking. star. We, we always get this whenever we go to Trader Sam's. We're drinking some kind of tiki drink, some tropical drink pina colada, whatever, and we're, we're eating some of these, so. Just a spoonful of chicken wings, helps the medicine go down, medicine go down, medicine go down. I forgot, this comes with some aioli. That is where the spice, so the wings are sweet. The aioli is a spice. I miss the spice. That's all I gotta say, this is the spice. Today got away from us way more than we were expecting. Like we had so many plans and we didn't get to so so many of the food items, so many things we wanted to do. Yeah, I feel like this happens every special event that Disney does. Like time goes by so quickly, but I gotta say I am thoroughly full. I had such an amazing day. It's been so much fun. We got to end the night in Cars Land with all the neon lights. It's just so magical being here at night. And I, I miss it. I miss hanging out with friends. I miss just being in this Disney magic and I can't wait for the whole thing to reopen. If you want to see the first time when we went into Buena Vista Street, I'll put the video right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Leslie Beavers, MW, Marlon Gutierrez, and Megan Alcala. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.